I'm now speaking to you from St. Louis with the arch behind me, and the problem we are now facing is how to measure the height of the arch if we did not already know it. We actually know that it is a distance of 630 feet from the very top of the arch to the ground. But assuming we did not know that, what method would we have for finding the height? Well, we're going to use a yardstick here, some measuring tape, and the principle of similar triangles. It turns out that this method, we believe, was first developed by Thales of Miletus. Uh, he lived in Egypt and then later moved to Greece. What Miletus discovered, he probably was able to do it two ways, that is, to find the height of the pyramids, he noticed that at a particular time of day that the length of the shadow was exactly equal to the height of the object that cast the shadow. Or he could have applied the method of similar triangles and what we're doing there is we have a yardstick that we know to be three feet long three feet long by definition we place the yardstick on the ground perpendicular to the ground and then we use the measuring tape to measure the length of the shadow of the yardstick now today unfortunately is a cloudy day uh, we're going to hope that it clears up a little bit by the time we get back there to the arch to get some sort of measurement of the length of the shadow. And then we're going to set up a proportion between the length of the yardstick, the ratio of the length of the yardstick to the length of the shadow of the yardstick equal to the ratio of the height of the uh, St. Louis arch to the length of the shadow cast by the St. Louis arch. So as you know, a proportion is an equality between two ratios. So we have the ratio of the length of the yardstick to the shadow cast by the yardstick. We set that ratio equal to the height of the St. Louis arch to the length of the shadow of the St. Louis arch. And we're going to use that to estimate the height of the St. Louis arch. So let's give it a try and we'll meet you down there by the arch. All right now, we're going to do our experiment. It's fraught with a few technical difficulties. One is that it's a cloudy day, and so the shadow of the arch is not quite apparent. So we're going to do something that uh, we think is kind of clever. We're going to walk along this path from where the sun is. The sun is coming down here. We can see the sun. We cannot see the shadow clearly, but you can see up there, we can see the sun. <clears throat> and we're going to walk to precisely the point where the apex, where the very highest point of the arch blocks out the sun. And that would have been where the shadow cast. So kind of a clever thing to do. We can't see the shadow on the ground, but we're gonna walk back till the, where the apex of the arch blocks out the sun. Now, we can get a very, very, very light shadow here. And you're gonna to have to take my word for it. The length of the shadow here is about, the length of the shadow here is about 18 inches, 18 inches. So we have right now here, the yardstick, which is uh, 36 inches, a yard is 36 inches. It's casting a shadow about 18 inches over here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the principle of the similar triangles that we just talked about earlier, and we're going to estimate the height of the uh, of the arch. So let's now walk back here. We remember the yardstick of 36 inches casts a shadow of about 18 inches. And we're going to now walk back here and we're going to continue walking until the apex of the arch covers up the sun. So I'm going to walk back. Okay, folks, now right about this point, if I look up,
the apex of the the very top point of the St. Louis Arch is blocking out the sun. So if, if it was a clearer day, the uh, shadow would be casting to about here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pace out the distance from here to right below where the apex is. My stride is about a length of three feet, of three feet. So I'm going to count the number of paces right now. One, two, three, four. about a hundred and uh, a hundred and two paces from where we were where we where we believe the shadow would have been cast to this particular point which I believe is right beneath the apex there's a little concrete marker here my guess is this marks exactly directly overhead the apex I'm guessing probably a hundred to 102 or 103 paces each pace that I have is about three feet. So we're talking about 300 to 309 feet distance, 300 to 309 feet distance. Now remember here, when we did the yardstick and the shadow, we had three feet casting a shadow of about a foot and a half. So if we want to figure out the height, we have to double the number of paces. So a foot and a half here of shadow translated to three feet of height we had about uh, 300 to 310 feet of distance. You double that, that's 600 to 620 feet of height. And indeed, the height of the arch is 630 feet exactly. So we are right on the money. It's unbelievable if you think about it. With this very basic experiment, we get a height of 600 to 620 feet we're talking about an error of at most 30 feet for a height of 630 feet and now let's see how much error is that we're talking about a five percent error so a very simple experiment involving similar triangles gives us about a five percent error in estimating the height so it, again it's an example of mathematics at work and you can see we don't need a lot of high technology, just simply a yardstick and an eyeball is all we need. So until next time, we're signing out as Dr. Frank's Math Minute.